我是 Sarah 张小文，我在泰国的皇家普吉游艇码头，和我一起开始一次崭新的旅程，去体验既浪漫又探险的游艇生活。Yacht life, love the ocean， 游艇生活，热爱海洋。本期的游艇生活，热爱海洋节目由 Oris 豪力石手表呈现。大多数人喜欢走人多的路，我却喜欢走自己的路。Oris。Go your own way。我还在美丽舒适的泰国普吉岛皇家码头。今天我又回到达令这艘游艇上，欢迎我的嘉宾 Oceans for All 组织的联合创立人 David Martin 先生。但是在这之前，我先到游泳池去放松了一下。大家知道吗？海洋占据了地球的大部分面积。是我们生活不可分割的一部分。欢迎 David 上游艇之后，我们乘坐 d a r l i n g 去感受普吉岛优美的风景。David, <laughs> so nice to be with you here at a beautiful setting, and uh, this is a uh, oh, gorgeous island behind us in Phuket Island. Yep. I know you've been in Phuket Island for many years, and uh, also your organization, Oceans for All, and your organization is for uh, ocean preservation. And uh, so I, I would start. Why why do we need to protect the ocean? Okay, with a very simple fact, we breathe oxygen. And most of the people think that the oxygen, or most of the oxygen, come from the plants, the forest, the right. Amazon. Right, right. Actually, 70% of the oxygen we breathe come from the ocean. 70%. 70%. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, because mm -hmm. plants create oxygen. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there are plants on land, but there are also many, many plants underwater. Oh. And because the planet is 80% of water, mm -hmm. there are actually more plants in the water than on land. So 70% mm -hmm. of the oxygen we breathe actually is generated mm -hmm. from the ocean. Wow, amazing. So we, we are protecting the ocean, protecting the plants under the water in the ocean is actually protecting our own life, our of living. Of course, of course. 90% oh, of all living creatures on Earth depend on the ocean. It's incredible. 90%. Wow, wow. How does that relate to our life, to keep the ocean clean, keep the water clean, keep but the beach clean? But because on land, a lot of rivers and water finish in the sea. This is the natural cycle of water, it goes in the sea. So if there is pollution on land in the water, all that pollution will go to the sea, and that will kill the plants that are in the sea that produce the oxygen. Oh. So it's it's like a circle. Everything is linked together. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. I I know nowadays a lot of organizations uh, brands are very uh, focused on you know interested or committed to protect the water oceans. Actually, I want to show you. And today I'm wearing a watch, <laughs> Oris watch, and it's a Swiss uh, watch. And this one is actually diving. Yes. Watch. I mean, I don't dive, you do. And yes, then, I do. So this brand, they actually uh, commit a lot of uh, resources, everything to uh, ocean preservation and water, um, cleaning the water, cleaning the beach in China to you know, keep the, uh, the beach clean. So it, it's a wonderful thing. And nowadays, I saw many, many brands and organizations put a lot of effort uh, educating people, you know, educating, make them understand why it's important to protect our environment. You know, as long as people don't know that there is a problem, we can fix the problem. So knowledge, information, education is key in protecting the oceans. So we are all responsible. Wow. It's not only a big company or big airline, it's big all of us. Each individual, yes. uh, human being, let's yes. say. Yeah. We are all responsible to that change. Now, what we do, what we produce, you know, the garbage, whatever, it's actually uh, 
coming back to us. It's like a circle, right? Yes. So if you if you keep it clean, clean air, clean water, clean everything, and you are drinking the clean yes, water. Exactly. If you produce garbage and they create other stuff, the the environment, the balance get broken, right? And it's very fragile. Everything in in nature, land or water, even more underwater, the balance between every species is very fragile. And if we touch one one of these species and we reduce its amount, it affects everything on the, on, on the, on the food chain that we yeah. call. And this is it's difficult to see how it will affect human beings, but actually mm -hmm. it does. It does affect a lot. I, I know you are, besides uh, you are co-founder of Oceans 4, you are also a professional diver, professional uh, shark uh, photographer, video photographer, and you are shark expert. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yes, and so. sharks is very important <laughs> because in an ecosystem you have predators and prey. Right, right. And uh, to have an healthy, very good ecosystem, you mm. need to have all the species. Mm. Now, sharks underwater is the apex predator. It's the first on the, on the top of the food chain. Oh, mm. So, unfortunately today, the shark fishing industry is very, very big. Today, right, right, uh, right. each year, we kill 100 million sharks Amazing. per year. Wow. Which is one shark every three seconds. Amazing. Yes. Wow. And that affects the entire population of sharks mm. and that will affect everything down, down the line of the, mm. of the food chain, of mm. the, that very fragile balance. It's amazing about the shark. And then how, what can we do pr to protect sharks? There is in the world 500 species of sharks. In Phuket, Phuket is known since more than 20 years to be a place where it's, it was very easy to see, to dive, to snorkel with a very colorful shark called leopard shark. The problem is that Within the years, because of fishing, pollution, that sharks become very, very rare and we almost don't see them anymore. So wow. one of the projects we have with my foundation is we are going to start a breeding program, mating male and female in aquariums. Mm. That particular shark species is an egg layer. We're okay. going to hatch the eggs, grow them, and when mm. they are still juvenile but mm. big enough, we're mm. going to release them to in the, the sea. Ocean. Yeah. So we're mm. going to help mm. nature oh, by nice. breeding. Mm. More sharks. So, uh, as a consumer, how how can what can we do to protect the shark? Oh, shark fin soup. We yes. don't drink shark fin yes. soup. So, shark yeah. fin mm. soup is 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 a thing that is very popular in Asia. Yeah, right. Uh, mm. By tradition and long time. So, of course, to protect a species like the sharks, uh, s stop buying shark products. Right. No buying, a, no killing. Right. Yeah, if the buying mm. stop, mm. the killing can too. Right. Mm. So. Uh, Shark products, so shark fin soup, uh, shark teeth, uh, shark products, uh, everything related to sharks that will generate an industry to fish them. Right, exactly. Basically. So um, as a regular um, tourist, when we go to beautiful places, what should we do to, to keep the environment clean? The first thing that is common sense is that if you arrive to a, a beach, an island, on a boat somewhere in the sea, Whatever you bring from your house, mm. from your hotel, mm. bring it back okay. always. Don't leave anything in nature that is not from there. Oh. So all the plastic you it's bring, plastic bottle, mm -hmm. anything that is plastic, mm. just bring it back. Mm. Okay, that's the first step. Besides, we uh, bring the recyclable uh, trash to back to the hotel, whatever, uh, anything else we should be aware. And yeah, so the, the other thing that is uh, uh, common sense, but people actually have the wrong idea is when you go on the boat, you go snorkeling, you go diving, you go exploring islands. Uh, many times you will arrive in a place and you will see the reef, a lot of colorful right, right. fish near yeah. the surface, mm. and everybody always wants to feed the fish. Right, it's fun. It's like a fun thing for the you know tourists to do, right? I feed the fish. We are so afraid the fish will be hungry. <laughs> so feed them so they won't be hungry. The problem is when we feed the fish, actually, it looks like we are helping nature. Right. It's the opposite. We are killing How? nature. How come? Because on a reef, fish, remember we talked before about the food chain. Every species is connected right, and right. every species has a purpose. Mm -hmm. So reef fish, they live on the reef and they clean the reef by eating uh, eggs of starfish, mm -hmm. by eating right, uh, algae, right. by mm -hmm. eating things that are feeding mm -hmm. the reef. Mm -hmm. Now, if those fish because tourists come every day by thousands right, to feed right. them. Mm. 
They will move from the reef, come mm. to the surface, mm. stay on the surface and feed from the food, the bread, the right, food right. they give them. Mm. They will not do anymore their job, oh. which is cleaning the reef. Oh, so what happened mm. in those places, mm. the reef dies. Wow. So they actually by feeding the fish, we actually uh, broke, uh, broke, broke the, the balance exactly. of the chain uh, in China. And now um, we started the classification of garbage. We started in Shanghai, it's going to go to the other cities. It's a wonderful thing. So you make the average citizen to be aware of, you know, this, this wet, wet garbage, dry garbage, recycled, dangerous garbage. So we put different garbage at different bags. Yeah. Sorting. Uh, right, Very exactly. Important. Yeah, it's, I, it's amazing, excellent. Uh, way to uh, educate, to make the regular citizen to, to form this habit. It's good in China that the government does it. It's not every government in every country that right, does things right, like this, course. but it's very important to every one of us in our house. Start we sort it. already in the our garbage, house. Yeah. So when the collection of garbage comes, it's already yeah, sorted. Exactly. We live on our planet, you know, so it's our responsibility. Thank you, David. Well, it's you're welcome. very Thank you. informational, interesting and inspirational um, chat with you. I also learned a lot. Keep up good work and I will do my job to try to uh, educate or deliver the message to the regular uh, Chinese consumers. So yes, everybody do you. something uh, with what we can do. Yeah. Yes, you know, more we are the better. Exactly. There is no exclusivity in yeah. saving the planet. We all have a part responsibility. to do. Everybody is responsible. Yes. Yeah, um, excellent. Thank you, David. You're yes. welcome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah.今天的行程结束了，在回程中，我在想海洋保护这个话题。很欣慰地发现，皇家普吉岛码头是泰国唯一荣获五金毛奖，并取得国际清洁码头认证的码头。在下一期的节目中，我将在普吉岛皇家码